I normally don't uh, do interior things or videos about it or anything like that. So, uh, but I'm going to this time because this is going to be a rather major uh, change here. Uh, the one thing that I have, I've always been sick of since the day I picked it out, is this countertop stuff. I don't, I don't like it. Uh, I was very fortunate the other day in finding the great big chip right there. So that, you know what that means? That means I got to redo the whole thing. I've never liked that color. It's very dark and dank. I detest stainless steel sinks. I hate them. Uh, I can't. I can't hate on that anymore. I'm going to start loving on it by putting it up in the barn attic. Uh, hopefully here soon. It's going to take a long time. Now you can tell I did the backsplash back here. Oh man, was this ever an ugly, horrible mess? But this. Oh, here I can do this. Yeah, I wired those in myself. See, I, I got a little switch there, and I, I wired all that in myself. So I got major counter lamps there. And then this is the one that you want for there. So I didn't think about turning the light on. So I'm going to tile all of this stuff. I'm a pretty fair tile guy. Uh, so I'm going to stick with that. It's not hard. I'm, the, since I did this, it's, it's always had this lip. It's like when I did the siding, the gemstone siding. The, the, it hung out so far and it looked like the house was going to gonna like topple off. So that's why I put some foam fake stuff out there. And, made that look better. So that, that ledge has always bothered me. That sink has always bothered me. And uh, so uh, we're gonna brighten the corner. What's that old song? Is that on? Yeah, that thing's always been tricky. And uh, over here is another counter. I don't even think I'm gonna mess with that because I have propane for uh, heating the water here. I'm done with them. Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of their company, but I'll look it up. And uh, they uh, charge me for a leak test. I won't forget that. And uh, I don't forget real easy. So there's a little table I made. When I made this beam, I had this leftover uh, material and I made that table out of scratch. I love making tables. So we're going to come into here. Shower about a year ago. That's worked out just beautifully. I love the shower. And uh, I love my glass block. I always had a thing about it. I just think that's just so, you know, they're $20, $30, $40 a piece sometimes, but I still like them. But this has worked out beautifully a year later. And uh, I did the inset tile. You know, there's no ledge there. I actually got my little Dremel Wacky Tool. And I'm going to get Dremel Wacky Tool back and forth, the multi-tool they call it. And I'm going to fix where, the, uh, when I put this floor in, I, I didn't really have the tools I needed, proper tools. So I got that ugly caulk right there. I'm going to do something about that. That's just driving me insane. And there's my little fishy thing. It's, yay! There she, there they are. That's the easiest way to keep fish. And uh, I put all that stuff in and that stuff in. So this countertop is also horrible. I like the little sink. Don't get me wrong about this sink. This one's kind of, I, I like the white porcelain stuff. But uh, these have a, a, an edge, and I'm going to try to bust these out and, and put some maybe white with a little blue stripe or something like that, make it look uh, uh, Greek or something. The other thing I can't stand is uh, this. I don't like wood this close to water. Uh, I, not much I can do about that. I guess I could if I want to, but this wood right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, put some tile over that. And hopefully it'll brighten things over here. I made this little table several years ago. Uh, I love it. It's solid up. Believe it or not, it's extremely heavy. And there's the uh, there's my little little print that I stood. And uh, so I got the crown molding up in here and and whatnot. So I'm gonna try to brighten up this a little bit in here and, and get rid of this stuff. There's something about plastic. Uh, I don't know. I just it just bothers me. I've, I've put up with it about all I can. I actually couldn't sleep last night thinking about it. I have that and a couple other things. You know how it is. So I am ready to go. I have my list of particulars there. Uh, I got to get some other stuff. Got to take that. Got to get those. Always carry flashlight with you. Uh, I don't think the micrometer. But this is. My, I was going to show you this because this I got this in Switzerland when I was a little boy. 
It used to have a, a yellow bird in it, but my idiot nephew uh, messed it up. Had to send it back and get it redone. But if you've never seen one of these things, Now, it doesn't close properly because of it being messed up, but I still love it. And I've always loved it. Went through a great deal of trouble to uh, reclaim this uh, a couple of times. Uh, but uh, wherever I goeth, this goeth with me. So I just, I just adore that thing. And uh, I'm not really the kind of guy that waxes his cars and junk like that. Or appreciates beautiful things like that very much. But that... That touched me the moment I saw it. You know how it is. So let's uh, let's see about making this a lot better. I've got I've got to finish some other projects, but anyway, and, uh, my little blue cow. Mm -hmm. How'd that cow get that car? Back from the getting spot. Uh, I got this going for me. Now, I couldn't find accented tile blue like I wanted in the bathroom. So I don't have it. And then I found these. I think I can make those work. A little blue accent, a little, little blue spot. And I got uh, some adhesives and uh, Peggy picked out this kind of grout. Uh, she used to work with Sean and Alan and them guys. Got some plumber's putty. I got a couple of boxes. Now, you, you can overdo this. <coughs> <coughs> it's better to have 25 too many tiles than one not enough and uh, so that stuff's going to end up everywhere but that's your plain white tile I got this bull nosy stuff here and uh, so I got one laid out there and then we're going to come up to right here now I'm going to have to cut a 45 degree on that I, I can do things like that I got a wet saw so but the, the star of the show is on the back of Daphne. The 140 pound sink. Yep, I don't know. I don't, I hardly weigh 140 pounds. But I gotta find a way to get it up and over here. My theory is gonna be I'm gonna disconnect this. It's no big deal. I got another sink over there. It's no big thing. And get all this out. Get all this, gotta take all this out right through here. And uh, we are going to. Uh, I'm going to make some kind of stand under here uh, to bring it up just over the, the sides of the tile because nothing really fits. I would not recommend doing the tile work and then dropping the sink and breaking your tile. So I'm going to try to work out some kind of hydraulic jack thing and so I can just uh, jack the sink up and... Uh, then just slow, put some silicone around it and lower it down, and that's what I'm going to have to do. But I got to get that sink up and over in, in this thing. So uh, I think I'm going to be okay, all clearance, all clearance wise. I'm turning them valves off. I've already got the water turned off. So, uh, well, that was August of last year, and uh, and they drilled this hole wrong. And I've got an idea. Now, these, these things here, that, that thing, oh, that must weigh a good four or five pounds. That's some solid stuff. I'm looking forward to that. i got to make sure they'll fit. I'm sure that they will, but I understand Kohler's a little bit grumpy about their stuff. But I'm going to try to powder coat these parts gloss white. Say, do you wish you'd have thought of that? So, I was talking to some dude. And he said he had this nice granite sink, but he can't find black drains. And I suggested he look up somebody to have them powder coat them. And I said, you might even be able to match the grain a little bit and uh, so forth like that. And this really ticked me off. So I got this real nice uh, Craftsman uh, vac in, in there. I use it as a, as a house vac. And I went to get uh, one of these and you end up, it not, not even, you can't even get close. So this thing's like eight bones. What do you think that cost coming from uh, Wuhan to Wai and Lua? Like a, a portion of a penny? 
And then they want you to buy the $8 adapter. Nah, we won't be doing that. So I'm going to do the old duct tape adapter. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. I got a, I got some down in the barn too. Oops, something on my hand. And uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this work. That just really that just really grinds your gears. That they don't. But anyway, and I gotta put these blinds up too. So uh, but I'm going on. I gotta go through the drain and see if I can if I can. Uh, oh, I gotta finish that. I didn't I didn't finish that video on the on Daphne did I? Well, I'll do that. But it's kind of hot right now. Gotta wait for the sun to go around a little bit more so I can, or the planet, or whatever's happening. So I have some shade back there. Maybe the, if I, the weight of the box will probably help me. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> 140 pounds. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't really have a way to hook up a winch. I, I would be the first one to do it though. I did it for the bay window. I'd certainly do it for a sink. You can see why I need blinds right there. Okay, I've taken these things apart. Well, wherever they are. These, these are colder, those colder drains. There's a rubber gasket that goes right here. It comes off with some relatively uh, difficult times. It's uh, there right there. And uh, that little oh, wait, right there. And then this basically just unscrews and you can, uh, you can go from there. So this fits in here kind of in an ill fashion anyway. So I've got both of them done. See, I got them right there. I'm going to go down and powder coat these this afternoon and think about how, what I want to do here. Uh, the bad thing about powder coating is it does, it does take up some space. It does, it does have a pretty good thickness about it and you can't get it into the threads. So, uh, if I don't want my threads to be gummy from metal tape, I just turn, I like, We'll put a little bit of the sticky here and then just run it around backwards so the sticky's on the outside. And this will be easy to hang up on it. So, uh, and they shorted me one of them fancy screws there. It kind of makes me mad, but that's okay. Uh, the reason that I got, I get things that don't work is because I can generally fix them. So, you know, I don't care if that happens to me. I don't drive back and complain. So, let's, let's make those white. I think that's going to be something kind of groovy to look at. I think I got enough cloth white. If not, I will wait until I get some because that's just going to be too fancy. I'm so glad I talked to that guy about powder coating his black because I think this is going to be a good idea. Then we got to kind of worry about that part going down in there. But if I need, if need be, I can, I can sort of scrape it out until it works. It doesn't have to. I am not one that really cares if a sink holds water. You know, who's, I don't cook enough anymore to worry about soaking things and junk like that. I'll put a plug in it. Huh. Well, looks like my camera's going to clear up in here. So here are the powder-coated drain parts now. Say, fancy. So there they are. I saw that little blemish get in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's just a drain. All right, I'm not gonna strip the whole thing down and do it again. So let's get all the tape off of them and and uh, get to work. See, I'm working over there. Uh, just your just your normal plumbing stuff up until this point. So I've got all this stuff. You don't have to take this. Uh, who's talking? The second you start the flipping camera, and you got something fun planned. Well, I'll let you look at that, and then I'll be back in a minute. Let's get some light on the action here. There you go. Let's see who's on the phone. Okay. Yeah, I've been going after it. I got the reverse osmosis faucet out, which I can't put in that sink. I'll have to put over there. And I don't know how many things I'm going to break this into, but I'm going to break it into several. Uh, that goes on the... Uh, Sprayer nozzle. Ooh, and you can't lose this thing. Let's put that up here. That little thing that holds sprayer nozzle on. You gotta hold on tight to that. And there's sprayer nozzle there. I like using these things. You ever use these plastic razor blades? They work good for cleaning a pizza pan. Alright, so I got these these heinous clips, man, that hold the sink in around the periphery. 
I believe everything's ready to go. You don't have to take this out or this out because you can do that after you get it out on the floor. And I got my I got my big blinky here to put it onto. And there's my DeWalt backy backy forthy thing. So I'm gonna have some nasty coffee tomorrow. I don't I probably can't possibly get uh, this done tonight, so I won't have I guess I can make a temporary reverse osmosis thing. Because boy, you get that, you start getting that RO water. And things are looking up. Okay, so I've got... Make sure I'm in the right spot, yeah. I've got my blocks of wood and my two jacks right here and my piece of wood right there. And uh, there you go. You can... Boy, that's really bright, but you can see it. I'm loving this thing. And you don't have to worry about it burning out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, Y'all can stick with me. I'm just going to use my hands and uh, take this thing up. This 2x4 is just, just nice, just perfect. Okay. Oh, come on, get over there. Well, I don't care where you... On this one, I don't... Oh, here we go. I'm gonna give her the gun now. So here she is, like this, and uh, what time would it be turned one way, wouldn't it? Okay. I like it when I can keep you guys with me. Makes me feel better. <laughs> I hope I got all them clips off. It don't matter if I mess up the countertop because I'm going to do it again anyway. Okay. Oh. Ooh, she's probably in there with silicone. You think I ought to get my razor? Oh, it's pushing the drains up. Okay. Well, we'll get we'll get past that in a minute. I really would like not to mess this thing up, but I mean, if it does, it does. Not too many people want an old stainless steel sink. Might use it down at the shop or something. I think I better get my Linux. Oh, there it went. Boom. Kablowie. move this down since I think I got that one. I think I'm still stuck on some silicone over here. I think I can get that. Okay. Now. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was kind of cool. I hate you missed that. Nice, pleasant sound that makes, too. Okay, gonna, let's get this wood block out of here. Okay. I gotta make some kind of dinner tonight. I don't eat cold soup tonight. I just open soup cans and just eat them. I don't really I don't bother heating stuff up too much. Okay, so if you're not using it, put it down. Keep it inside in so many walks of life, huh? All right, let's get up here and... Ugh. Okay. Well, I had my Linux Gold ready to go, but it didn't look like I needed it. Yeah, I think I kind of fouled up the bottom of the sink here. So, uh, them things happen. Arr! Where would I be without my 5-in-1 tool? Okay, here we go. I guess I could bend it back or something. What are you doing? Let's get the five in one and back cut over here. Yeah, I got a little bit. There you go. Just took that sharp end and cut that silicone and how this nasty thing goes. Okay, that's it. Oh boy, look at that. I wonder what that held right there. Must have been some kind of other thing. Yeah, I'll put a bunch of foam down there. I gotta get that water out of there. Okay, well, let's do that right now. So that's what it looks like down in there. This is a uh, press board. Always have a pillow. When you got your back up against that stuff right there, you 
you really, really, really want to have a cushion there because it hurts like the devil. Okay. I doubt very seriously I can get that thing in there. But see, now all you got to do is you probably want to clean this up so it won't foul up your... Uh, Oh, there's a bug in here. That's okay. All right, so I think that's enough of that. And we're going to, if I could get that sink in here, I'm going to have to clear all this stuff out. This is an extremely old clock. So I'm going to take it and just put it way yonder over here. One clock to another, right? All right. All right, let's... Uh, Let's see what I can do. That's the new sink is deeper. Let me take this apart. Well, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Gotta get mad at them damn decks. All right. Well, Sean came by and helped me. Uh, so here we are. We've got the sink in place. I've got the jacks down there and. Uh, Let's get this thing going. I, I, every time I record, it's just it's just too dark. Let's see. So I got my jacks all down there. It's all in place, and I've got it up just high enough to deal with it. It won't it won't do anything too horrible at this point. And now I can do my tile work around it and sort of figure what I'm going to do. There's a whole lot more room under this thing than I imagined that there was going to be. You can you got a really nice lip there, so I'm gonna I'll start my tile work this evening, and uh, I gotta I gotta go in and do some other work for some other people. So uh, anyway, that's gonna be cool. I cannot wait to see all this brighten up. I've got my stove level, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. So now, and I've got now you're supposed to use that thing. There was one already under there, so I, I, there's one back there to keep the stove from tipping over. Whenever you buy a new house, I don't care if it was built yesterday or 20 years ago or antebellum house, whatever you got, make sure that's there because it keeps the stove from tipping over. And uh, If you've never read that, children die from that. They get scalded to death. But this one, there's not only one back there. I put in screws right here, too. Uh, I, I screw the stove down. There's a screw right here and right there, and I she's completely immobilized. You cannot move this stove. And that's just what for some reason recording stopped. So I don't know what happened there, but let's turn this back on again. I just checked my video and saw that it didn't didn't record what I, what I wanted. Okay, make sure your stove is level. Make sure it won't tip over and kill children. And I make mine as stable as I possibly can. Now the reason for that is I'm going to bring my tiles up right to the edge. Okay, I, I can't stand this edge down here, so I'm going to I'm going to well I'm a little bit out, but it's okay. Let's see if I can. Uh, eh, we'll worry about that later. I don't. I should probably won't move because I got her fixed like that. But what we're going to do here is. It's gonna look like this. I gotta chalk off this little corner so the door will open. You gotta keep everything as aligned as possible. And I can't do that because of that. So I gotta chalk a little bit of that off. If I wanna do this all the way to the edge thing, and I do, I want to do that very badly. And as we all know in tiling, you end up picking your, picking your battles here. So I'm going to try to get this stove a little bit more even. But I got the height right and I got her level. I got her fastened down pretty good. There might be just a little wiggle room back there to uh, get her aligned. If she doesn't align, I don't really care. It's not enough of an angle. What do you got there? Yeah, not enough to worry about. So I'll see what I can do. But you, if you, I would recommend you go look at your stove right now. Just pull the drawer out and make sure that that hook thing's in there. This thing right here. 
make sure that's in there. If you already got one, you already got one. This is a replacement stove, so that's why there was one already there. Okay, let's move on. Well, I'm back home, and uh, I don't know, it's late. Sun's still up, got a little bit of daylight left. I'm gonna try to heat up the old wet saw out there and try to have uh, some good coffee in the morning. <laughs> I don't know if I got time for all that. And uh, I'm gonna try, but this is gonna be in part one of whatever the part numbers are, doesn't matter. And uh, we will, we'll just take a quick survey of of the place and then we'll we'll make some videos tonight maybe I can get this thing down get my drains in it and then we'll start next time because uh, it's just I guess I don't know how long it's gonna go I do like the Kohler stickers though not a sponsor and uh, I just I really I just don't know what I'm gonna run into on the drains and I got I won't sleep good tonight unless I at least try to do a couple of things we'll talk to you next time Hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll be back in a day or two.